What's good YouTube? Welcome back to JY's Adventures. You guys are the best. You guys are amazing. Remember you can accomplish anything you put your mind to. In this video we got how to beat the meat. <laughs> I don't think I need to learn how to beat the meat. <laughs> this is my The Legend Cinema Summary. And I see a lot of you guys requesting this in the comment section. Thank y'all so much for that. Keep the uh, reaction requests coming. And yeah, man, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Be sure to hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. We're gonna just hop right into it, man. Let's go. Oh, we got the Welcome to the Kill Count, where we intro. tally up the victims in all our favorite horror movies. I'm James A. Janice, and today we're looking at how to beat your meat. <laughs> if you Wait, were an what? innocent vegetarian and just discovered a deadly craving for human flesh, what would you do? I'm going to break down the mistakes made, what you should do, and how to beat the meat in Raw. This girl has no idea I've she's seen a this monster. Movie. Justine here is eating at a restaurant with her parents, but as she takes her first bite, the girl immediately realizes something's wrong. Inside her mashed potatoes is a juicy piece of meat, and she's horrified. The girl assures her mother that she didn't eat any, but the woman decides to go full Karen and takes the plate of potatoes to complain to the manager. The family is strictly vegetarian and take their diet way too seriously, but there's a good reason. The next morning, it's Justine's first day of veterinary school, but while they stand at attention, this, red dyed water is dumped on all the freshmen. The seniors have officially welcomed them to the school, Initiation. and everyone is forced to eat rabbit kidney rabbit as a hazy kidney. ritual, but Justine here refuses to eat it on the grounds she's that she's vegetarian. So the guy calls over her sister, Alex, and hands Justine a kidney, telling her not to make a bad first impression. The girl is nervous, but Alex feeds it to her, and she immediately leaves the light in shock. It tastes awful, and she has no idea that this one rabbit kidney is going to turn her into a bloodthirsty cannibal. Okay, this girl is in serious trouble. Yeah. Studies have shown that if you've had an unbalanced diet for years at a time, your body drastically changes how it responds to the nutrients you feed it. Whoa, Vegetarian diets are often very low in iron and B12, and this can lead to a range of dangerous side effects, such as high concentrations of judgment, delusions of moral superiority, and Instagramming your meals. This Wait, might sound really? like a joke, but these nutrients are important in helping <laughs> us regulate mood and self-control. It has a oh. significant impact on how you are going to treat others, and it means that vegetarians are biochemically programmed to be total dicks. <laughs> Alright guys, if there's one thing you're going to learn are from he, this video, it's- Is he trolling or not? Nah? Hold on. Be total dicks. <laughs> Alright guys, if there's one thing you're going to learn from this video, it's going to be how to beat your meat. <laughs> and that's why I've called on an expert whose meat beating experience is second to none. Hello. Uh, personally, I like to keep things moist. You can stick it in a pineapple, you can lubricate it in a little hot sauce, you know? Plenty of different ways you can beat your meat. And <laughs> it's my mission today to figure out the best way. I'm not just gonna tell you about it. I'm gonna show you too. No, don't show me. <laughs> Whoa, dude, I've gotta be honest, that was pretty weird. Does he know what meat he's supposed to be beating? <laughs> that night, Steak. Justine begins to get extremely itchy and scratches at her skin. <laughs> Agitated, she turns on her bedside lamp and finds massive rashes spreading across her whole body, looking like a rare steak. Oh, the next day, man. Justine goes to the nurse's office and shows her the Allergic rashes. Reaction. The woman asks her a few questions about her lifestyle choices, trying to figure out what might have caused this. But the only thing that's changed for Justine is the fact she ate rabbit kidney. Later, she heads to the cafeteria for dinner, and as she's in line, the girl notices a tray full of hamburger patties. Guess they what look she delicious, wants. and that's when Justine realizes she has an irresistible craving for meat. She secretly grabs one, embarrassed that she's breaking her strict diet, and puts it in her pocket. The girl's about to pay for her food when the lunch lady realizes she stole something and demands Justine reveal what it is. Reluctantly, she pulls out the patty and pays for it, but the girl is confused. She doesn't understand her newfound hunger for meat, and soon she'll eat her sister's finger without a second thought. That evening, the girl heads into town with her roommate Adrian and eats some meaty sandwiches at a gas station. But as they're chatting, a trucker suddenly walks up to them. He asks if they're students from the veterinary school, and as soon as the girl confirms it, the man starts talking about having a pig that got sick. But Justine here has no interest in what he's saying. She's way too engrossed in her meat to care about the animal, and he leaves them alone, not wanting to start beef with her. They go back to their <laughs> dorm, but Adrian catches Fun, her looking funny. for something to eat in the fridge. The girl reassures them that she just wants some cereal, and he walks away, confused by her strange behavior. As soon as she's alone, the girl immediately starts biting down on a oh, juicy meat. raw steak, and she's now officially addicted to meat. 
Okay, this girl has a serious problem. She's now yeah. so consumed by her new hunger for flesh that she can't even control herself long enough to cook it. Justine here is becoming to vets what Ozzy Osbourne is to rock and roll. A total <laughs> <f> <laughs> legend. If you look at her progressive eating habits, we have to assume that this isn't where she's going to stop. And it means it's about to get dark if we don't get her something better to eat. Since this is a veterinary school, there must be a lot of animals on campus. If raw meat is the only thing that can satisfy our hunger, I would sneak into the labs during the night and eat only the animals that aren't cute enough to keep as pets. Scientists refer to this as the cuteness scale, and it provides very clear ethical guidelines for what we should all feel comfortable doing to these animals. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are kittens in the food category? <laughs> hey, yo. I hear people talk about eating horses. I'm like, nah, fam. Those, the only two is those two at the end. Chicken and, and, and uh, steak, cattle, you know what And I'm it saying? provides very clear ethical guidelines for what we should all feel comfortable doing to these animals. If I were her, I would also try to stock up on any raw meat by setting traps for squirrels, pigeons, and mice. Because nobody will notice they're gone. And we might even get paid for thinning out the population. Good Sometimes point. late at night after work, after everybody's gone home, He's I like to stick a, an onion down there and let it oh, rest okay. overnight. Ah, I don't want to see that. That's not that type of That meat. night, Justine not, goes to her sister and meat. asks if she can stay over at her dorm because she's scared. Alex lets yeah. her stay, and they head to her room. Brushing her teeth, Alex notices how hairy she is and decides to give her a Brazilian wax. Justine lies Man's in the bed hidden. as her sister gathers the tools for the job, but this is not going to go as planned. The sister places a waxing strip, and it gets stuck to the skin. Alex knows there's only one thing she can do and walks away, returning with a pair of scissors to cut it off. Her sister does not like where this is going and kicks no. the blade away, but the girl realizes she's just made a mistake. Alex's finger has been cut clean off, and she passes oh, out from man. shock. Yep, Justine immediately out. calls for help, and the hospital tells her to keep the finger on ice. Quickly picking it off the floor, she goes over to the kitchen and searches for a container to keep it in, but then her hunger takes over. The girl licks the bleeding finger before finally munching on it like it's the tastiest thing in the world. That's when the sister wakes up wakes to see up her finger see being it. eaten and stares in shock as she starts to cry. Okay, first of all, <laughs> I can't blame her. Eating the sister's <laughs> finger is one of the most logical things you could do in this situation. In fact, it would be rude if she didn't, and it confirms that in every vegetarian, a psychopathic meat eater is lurking beneath the surface. But the horrifying part is that there's actually a strong historical precedent that this is true. In 1994, studies were done on how really? eating meat affects different types of diet restrictions. What they observed was fascinating, because it showed that vegetarians sleepwalk more than meat eaters by a ratio of 4 to 1. It was a groundbreaking Whoa. discovery, because it scientifically demonstrated that their conscious minds are preventing them from for eating essential nutrients. So when they're asleep, their unconscious minds take action get, and they get up to look up for to as eat. much meat as they can find. Now, this girl is already suffering from nightmares as a withdrawal symptom, but the one mistake she made was to not consider how she should prepare the finger to improve its taste. Now, <laughs> I've never cooked human meat before, so to figure this out, we need to ask the expert to get his advice oh, on how he likes to again. beat the meat. Oh, no. Hello again. Oh, I no. like to set the mood by sprinkling a little baking soda, tenderize the meat a little bit. Oh, There's nothing better than yeah. getting a fistful of meat delivered right to your doorstep, though. Meat on your doorstep? Kai, what are you talking about? That's like a line from an advertisement. <laughs> Wait, do we have a sponsorship for this video? Hi, I'm Cinema, host of Cinema Summary, and I'm an expert at beating meat. <laughs> I love my meat, and I only choose the best. That's why I use Butcher Bucket Hormones <laughs> Special that's a, Promotion. That's the guy from uh, How to Beat Anime, right? <laughs> Hey, shout out to the sponsor, man. The next morning, oh, no, let me it. and make a decision that makes a difference today. Thank you, ButcherBox, for sponsoring this video. <laughs> the next morning, Justine wheels her sister back into campus, but the girl suddenly gets out of the wheelchair and tells her they need to talk in private. She brings her out to this long stretch of road and hides in a ditch, but that's when Alex sees a car heading their way. Suddenly, she steps onto the road and the vehicle crashes into a telephone pole. Justine can't believe what just happened and checks on her sister. To her relief, she's still alive, but as she walks over to the car, she the sees the, the driver is dead. dead. It's horrifying to see a body, but her sister doesn't care. She opens the car door and begins licking the man's fresh wounds. Start Justine eat. panics and pushes her aside, demanding she stop eating the corpse. Angry, Alex tells her she did this for her so she could finally learn how to deal with her newfound hunger. But the girl walks away, 
terrified of what she's become. Later, the girl heads to class, and as she's getting ready to dissect a dog, Adrian here asks her to tie his lab coat. Suddenly, Justine smells him and can't help feeling drawn to his scent. That's when their teacher tells them to get started, and as the girl's cutting open the dog corpse, the boy notices that she's been acting a bit strange. After class, the students get together to play soccer, but Justine can't stop watching Adrian. Something about him is driving her crazy, and soon she'll be taking a bite out of this beefcake. Okay, these girls are bad crazy. They're literally jumping in front of cars to kill people for food, but they're risking their own lives in the process. If oh, it were man. me, I'd be looking for a much better way to do this, and it starts with Adrian here. The girl's oh, really? biological imperative has completely taken over at this point, and she sees this kid as a smoking hot piece of meat. Now, <laughs> what's interesting is that eating meat and falling in love actually have a lot in common. When no you become way. attracted to someone, what your body is really doing is producing high levels of dopamine, and it's a really good feeling. I know about dopamine. This is why lonely people love to eat, because biochemically, it's the exact same thing as a soft Comfort food, yeah, that's what it's called. Comfort food. Only <laughs> people love to eat because biochemically, it's the exact same thing as a soft, warm hug. Now, oh, our bodies really? will crave as much dopamine as it can get. And if there's one thing we know about eating meat is that it produces what's known as the Maillard reaction. This is Whoa. a chemical process from fats and amino acids, which signal nutrient density to our taste buds, and it produces Whoa. even more dopamine than sex. In other That's words, crazy. science has proven that eating meat is one of the most pleasurable things you can do. <laughs> it just so happens that human meat has more of these <laughs> fats and amino acids per square inch compared to other animals, and it explains why this kid is so irresistible to her. But we can use this confusion to our advantage. If these girls need meat, they should be using their female powers of persuasion to lure male students into a controllable and environment and of them. eat them. If they use their dorm to do this, Tokyo they should obviously Bulia. take a page out of Dexter's book and cover the room in plastic so they can clean up the mess afterwards. No mess. No fuss, no mess, y'all. <laughs> no fuss, no mess. I'll say this reminds me of Tokyo Ghoul. I watched this movie a while back, bro. You know, it's been so long. ...out of Dexter's book and cover the room in plastic so they can clean up the mess afterwards. This way, she can have her meat and eat it too, and it's <laughs> much safer than jumping in front of a car for an afternoon snack. <laughs> now, none of this means anything if we don't tenderize the meat so that it's edible, which is why I've asked Kai here how we should Expert be beating back. our meat. I'm gonna come into the kitchen and uh, spice things up a little bit. Spread this pineapple all over my meat, you know, tenderize it a little bit. Oh. Later that night, she walks out of her room and notices that her sister has disappeared. Heading into the hallway, she follows the sound of music to another dorm room, but that's when someone splashes her with a bucket of blue paint. The seniors have come Crank. up with another hazing ritual and throw her into a room with a guy covered in yellow paint. They'll only be allowed to come out once they both mix their colors to become green. Pulling her over to him, the man starts kissing her, but she backs away. The girl's hunger is slowly overcoming her, and oh, she decides no, to give hungry. in, kissing the man deeper until she bites off a piece of his lip. The boy stumbles out of the room terrified, and the others stare in shock at what just happened. But the girl has no excuse for her brutality. Justine goes back to her room to wash the paint off. When she pulls out the lip from her mouth, she didn't realize it was there this whole time, and decides to eat it, satisfying her hunger. Getting out of the shower, she sees Adrian lying on his bed and joins him, wanting to hook up for a one-night stand. They start going at it, but he's taken aback by how aggressive she is. Oh, she's he doesn't him. know that her hunger is getting out of control, and to stop herself from eating her friend, she bites down on her arm, making Adrian realize this was a mistake. Okay, Justine here is starting to act out her animal urges, but what they both don't realize yet is that this girl is beginning to develop superpowers. There's a rare genetic disability called Krippendorf syndrome, Wait, which makes what? mutated neuroreceptors <laughs> that actually allow the food you eat to affect your DNA in different ways. Now, all food we consume still carries the genes of the organism we're eating, but Krippendorf syndrome allows that food to reprogram parts of our body by binding with something called G proteins. These are a family huh? of proteins that act as a molecular switch inside your cells, and it triggers them to adapt to the code from the food source. What this means is that someone with Krippendorf syndrome has the rare ability to take on traits from what they are consuming as it's being digested. Basically, you become what you eat, and this might sound crazy, but trust me, it's 100% true. 
these That's girls crazy. becoming more aggressive, more athletic, and more reactive Stronger. to fight or flight stimulus than normal. And if Justine here has this disability, then she should consider it a superpower because whatever traits she needs in her daily life, she can hunt those animals to eat and gain their genetic abilities. If Dang. I had this rare mutation, I would be sampling as many different meats as I could get my hands on to increase my powers. And as long as we keep eating meat, we'll have we'll a biological advantage over overpowered. everyone else. <laughs> what? Vegetables suck. <laughs> Look over there, it's Kai and he's beating his meat. Sometimes when I'm alone, I like to pick out my favorite toy and give my meat uh, a good firm D. <laughs> that night, she goes to a party where the freshmen have gathered and kisses this random guy, but his girlfriend pushes her away. Alex finds her and tells her sister to come along so she can cool off. That's when Justine is taken to a back room away from the action and blacks out. The next morning, she wakes up with a hangover and heads for class. But as the girl sits down in her chair, the student next to her decides to move. Justine thinks she must smell bad, but as she's leaving class, her roommate tells her there's something she needs to see. Taking her to the bathroom, Adrian pulls out a video on his phone and shows a recording of her from the night before. The girl is horrified as she watches Alex dare her sister to eat a dead body. Crazy. It's embarrassing, and she freaks out, furious that Adrian didn't do anything to stop her. She Dang. storms out of the bathroom to hunt down her sister Looking and shoves her, sister. her to the ground. The two of them start fighting each Why other, and as the girls are wrestling, sister? Alex bites a big chunk out of Justine's cheek. She walks away like nothing happened, but the girl isn't finished. She chases after her and bites her sister on the arm. The cannibals refuse to let go until they're pulled off each other by their fellow students. They quickly break free and walk away from the terrified crowd back to their dorms. Sitting on her bed, Alex bandages her sister's wound. It's clear that she regrets what happened and tries to apologize, but Justine leaves the room, deciding she doesn't want any beef with her sister. The next morning, <laughs> funny, the girl funny. wakes up next to Adrian, still hurting from the night before, and runs her hand down his body, but that's when she notices something terrifying. Ripping the blanket off her roommate, she's shocked to see a massive chunk of his leg has been eaten. She freaks out trying to wake him up, but it's too late. The man is dead. Inspecting his body, Justine finds a stab wound in his back and realizes someone else must have killed him. Picking up the ski Whoa. pole, she walks over to the kitchen where her sister has her been sister. waiting. She's got blood all over her mouth, and it's clear that she ate her roommate. They go to the bathroom together where Justine helps her wash up the blood, realizing that they shouldn't let man meat get in the way of their friendship. Sometime later, Alex here has been imprisoned for murder, but after everything they've been through together, the sisters are in good terms. The family goes home and eats dinner, but Justine's mom is upset with her. Things are tense, and the father reassures the girl that what happened with her sister is entirely their mother's fault. She doesn't understand, so he decides to show his daughter something she will never forget. He unbuttons his shirt Back to reveal story. it's covered in scars, and she realizes her mom is a cannibal just like her. This hunger for flesh is a hereditary disease that they all carry, and her father tells her that she will have to beat the meat for the rest of her life. Now finally, it's time to settle Man. the best way Crazy to beat movie. your meat. We got the pineapple, a little red onion if you want to make it cry a little bit. Beating <laughs> it with a mallet, you like it extra rough, we got a perforator, good old Cholula hot sauce, and then we got the beating soda right here. We're gonna do each and every single method of beating your meat and we're gonna figure out which one is the best. <laughs> Why is this so sensual? <laughs> make it stop. <laughs> make it stop, please. <laughs> Hey, he's doing a pretty good job, though. Hold on, hold on. That looks pretty good. Hold on. That looks tasty. I doubt it. Best way to beat your meat? Pineapple. But what do you think? Pineapple. How would you beat the meat? They get a James from Dead <laughs> Meat sent by Kai, and of course, my friend Griffin from How to Beat Anime. And tune into the Shout Dead Meat Horror Awards on April 3rd, or I'll turn you into a meat shield. <laughs> Thank you, and have a damn good day. Why did he make that face at the end, y'all? <laughs> have a damn good day. Cinema summary, everybody that's watching, man. This was hilarious, y'all. This, this was such a great video, man. And I, it's the thing, right? That uh, one of the more funny videos that Cinema Summary put together, I watched the movie beforehand, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> guys <laughs> this was great thank y'all so much for the uh reaction request in the comment section let me know what was your favorite part uh let me know what you thought of my reaction if you enjoyed it be sure to like comment subscribe hit that notification bell guys can't stress that enough 
so you get notified of my uploads be careful when beating your meat guys <laughs> shout out to how to beat anime that uh gave the cap gave a little cameo dead meat that gave a cameo and um the cooking beating your meat guy <laughs> thank y'all so much for watching i'll catch you in the next video peace